Hello good guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be guiding you how to install the Python, Pip and Django. If you have learned already Python, you have should have installed it. If you have not installed it, this is your video for you. Python is a translator interpreter which helps us to interpret a Python programming language. A Pip is a PIP. PIP is a one of the dependency of the Python. This PIP will help us to you know install the different kind of phrases after installing the Python. Django is a framework, Python framework, which helps us to implement and develop a web application. So let's get us started. To install the Python, we need to visit the Google. Google right here, Python, and just click Python. Visit the very first link python.org now you will look at this one the download you know options here look look at this download and navigate with your choice of your operating system i'm going for the windows so i'm going for the windows here and please download the latest version of the python because when you download the latest version of python so let's click on the python this one button now you can see the your python 3.11.4 is being installed it may take a few seconds to install it depends on the internet speed so once installed we are going to sorry once it's downloaded we are going to install it so wait for the few seconds okay installation is done so let us go and visit the folder okay you can see guys i have installed the python so we are going to double click on install it and the follow the screen instructions double click on this now they're saying you can see on the screen they're coming to install now and customize installation before clicking on the customize installation i would like to recommend you please don't forget to click on check on the add python.x to the path this is a very important because the python that you will install will be included in the python now so make sure it's checked now go there and click on the customize installation and make sure that all the checks you know the check box are ticked i was talking about the pip this pip is very important make sure it's not untick pip is it should be it must be ticked so pip is i told you as a one of the dependency you know which help us to install in different kind of python packages after installing the package like a django like a numpy matplotlib uh, num the pandas etc okay so let's go and install now go to the next now here you can look at this customized installation here here we can install also so before going for the customized installation location let us make sure that your advanced options make sure that install the python for all the user of this computer okay so click on the all the user of the computer so make sure that this file first five is selected now i'm going to change the location of this one so i recommend it to go with the not in the program files go to the c local disk and like this this is a highly recommended i don't want to install in the program files folder i want to keep it in the so local disk c but outside the program file so that's why i did this one let's go and click on the install it may take a few seconds it's taking time setup in process so once it's installed it will tell you the setup successfully completed okay guys you can see here setup was successful so look at this one disable path length limits what does it mean if you click on the disable path length limits the the path that we have set it it will be minimized shorter so it will nothing will happen so i recommend you to click on this then you can see setup was successfully done close it after closing this we can go to the command line so click cmd open this command line and type here python you can see now python has been installed okay let me take you to the environmental variable so go to the search environmental variable click on this click on environmental variables go to the this path edit you can see here your path has been also set because remember we have checked the button before installing the you know at the beginning of installation of the python the add to the path so it's automatically added to the path so it's available from anywhere now here we can write any we can write any program of the pythons here so python writing hello world here simply to test is what the python is working or not so i try hello world coming we can exit from the python right exit we are back to the prompt we can clean the cls cls clean the screen now here we can click we can use the pip pip please now you can see here when you install the pip they are saying when installing the python what different kind of package has been installed so pip freeze is a pip 
is one of the dependency of the python so when you install the python make sure you are checking that checkbox to install the pip otherwise you have to install again the pip so pip freeze is the command of the python or the pip command which will display the different package installed in your computer of the python not a default one so you can see this is not django guys this is a django it's not django okay first one this is not django so we are going to install now django how to install the django so we'll use the pip pip install install write d j n g o django when you write the django you can write it click here collecting the data so now your django is being installed you can see on the screen the downloading the django 4.2.4 latest version collecting the blah 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 installing the collected package different package you can see sql pass blah 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 django's everything is being installed now after installing the django then what we will again check pip phrase and you will find the additional package has been installed so it's, it, it may take a few minutes guys it depends on the size and the internet speeds so just sit back and relax fine you can see here new release of pip is available they're saying we can go there and install it so let me do it here copy if you want to update the pip you can do it here run it requirement already certified so what we are doing we are updating the pip as you can see here they are saying what to do so i just what i did i copy this this one by right click and then i paste it they are updating our pip successfully the installed pip to 22 23.2.1 you can see this is the one was recommended so we are done okay you can see we have done so let me allow me to clean cls clean the screen let us go right here pip freeze you can see now here this additional package has been installed like a django d django this one extra then sql pass so now so what we have done actually in this video we have installed the django universal in a whole computer so what you can do wherever you can create a django project you can manage your django project okay basically when we write a pip here install django we were installing the this django in a whole computer universally globally okay in the coming video i may teach you if you want to set up a you know create a project and you want to install that django framework for a specific project only we will see in the coming video guys so thank you guys if you like my video and if you have not yet subscribed my channels please you do subscribe like share and do ask the questions in the comment box thank you see you next video